April was another strong month for the Perth property market with core logic data showing the Perth Home Value Index increased 1.1% during the month. Now, REWA President Damien Collins said with another solid month of price growth recorded, the Perth property market was firmly on track to achieve 10% price growth during the 2022 calendar year. Mr Collins said, the Perth property market remains in a very good position for continued price growth. Even with interest rate ex rises expected soon, REWA does not anticipate that this will adversely affect our local market. With low levels of stock for sale and building completion still sluggish, continued strong demand from buyers suggests the Perth residential sales market will be buoyant for some times. However, the good news is that WA has some of the most affordable housing in the country, which means most buyers will be able to afford price increases and the looming interest rate rises. Now, let's get into all the details with this month's Perth market update. So Perth's median house sale price was 525,000 during April, which remains the most affordable median house sale price in the country. Now the suburbs to record the biggest median house sales price growth during April were Wembley Downs up 2.9% to $1.305 million, Maddington up 2.8% to $360,000, Waikiki up 2.7% to $407,000. Karama up 2.7% to $565,000 and City Beach up 2.5% to $2.325 million. Other suburbs to perform well were Wanneroo, Thornley, Balladura, Karanup and Mosman Park. Now there were 7,920 properties for sale on rewa.com at the end of April, which is 1% higher than March and 11% lower than a year ago. Now, Mr. Collins said listings for sale remain low across Perth, which is fueling competition amongst buyers and putting upward pressure on prices. We expect to see more properties come to market as interest rates rise, but not enough to dampen demand. Now, the median time to sell a house during April was 13 days, which is one day faster than March and uh, the same as April 2021, a year ago. Now, Mr. Collins said median selling times in Perth are back below two weeks, which is exceptionally fast. In this market, buyers must be very prepared and willing to act quickly when they see a property they want to purchase. Now, rewa.com data shows the fastest selling suburbs in April were cooling up at six days and tapping Waikiki, Woodville and Bedford uh, at seven days. The other suburbs to record fast median selling times were Coolblup, Currambyne, Brabham, Heathridge and Bayswater. Now, Perth's median rent price increased at $10 to $460 bucks a week during April. And Mr. Collins said, this is now the highest median rent price Perth has ever recorded. However, it's important to note that it's been seven years since we last saw a new peak price. While it has been a challenging time for tenants, we still have the most affordable rental market in the country. Now, the suburbs to record the biggest increases in median rent during April were Wilson, which was up $18 to $438 a week, Southern River, which was up $20 to $500 a week, Mount Lawley, which is up $25 to $625 a week, Hammond Park up $13 to $473 a week, and Warmbra up $10 to $390 a week. Now, other suburbs to record notable increases were Scarborough, Victoria Park, Canningvale, Wellard, and Forest, vale, Forest Field, I should say. Now, it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during April, which was the same as March and three days faster than a year ago. The suburbs that recorded the fastest median selling times during March were Hamilton Hill at 12 days and Hammond Park, Alchemos, Butler and Clarkson all at 13 days. Now, other suburbs to experience fast median leasing times were Success, Willerton, Harrisdale, Spearwood and Byford. Now, there were 2,446 properties for rent on rewa.com at the end of April, which is 3% more than at the end of March, but 14% lower than the same time last year. Now, Mr. Collins said, the rental shortage remains a significant challenge for the Perth rental market. There is no quick solution for this problem, which is why is it imperative that the WA government does not make major changes to the Residential Tenancies Act that will discourage property investment in WA at a time when we desperately need more rental stock. Well guys, that is it from me today. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember, only one thing in life that makes a difference guys, that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.